Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekend energy mystic affirmation beginning March 22nd through March 25th of 2024. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, let's crank up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, and use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. As we move forward in the reading, let's see what the cards have to say. Well, 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 we had the Wheel of Fortune yesterday, so it's lingering in. It's come into the first cut of today, so it's still moving in the Wheel of Fortune energy. We have the King of Wands, which is the energy of the Aries King. It's action time. It's being in the ability to move forward fully and wholly. You don't, you're not missing anything. You can take everything and move into uh, the direction of this breakthrough. The Wheel of Fortune is a breakthrough energy. It is the grand unsticker of all unstuckness. So bringing you out of that place of feeling like you're treading water or stuck in a ditch uh, literally releases you from karmic hold, karmic debt. All red lights turn green, all doors open, even doors you are not aware exist. You don't have to know about it for it to be able to happen. And allowing this energy now to catapult you forward further than you would have gone had you not been held up in the first place. So remember, every single thing serves a purpose, even the delay. So let's see what else we have, my darlings. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Ooh, lightning strike energy. We had that yesterday, too. So very fast and furious comes in that beautiful energy of the Knight of Swords. Uh, I believe it was in the dailies. I don't know if it came into this reading, but I had it twice in the dailies yesterday for our members only. This is the energy of all of a sudden, out of the blue, you either get a divine download or someone reaches out to you in some way. It can just be something you all of a sudden know. You might have a premonition. You might have just a sudden, like you just all, you know, like it just literally comes in fully formed in your mind. It's, it is that kind of energy all of a sudden. And that's the kind of energy the Wheel of Fortune deals in. So that's a very good complimentary energy. And having that fire sign king at the beginning means you're able to to take advantage of it as it comes in. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So much like, I believe the same thing happened yesterday. Look at that. One, two, we got one bonus card today. So one, two, three, and I'm going to put them all up here since there's only four. Four. You know, that's the, I believe that's the Sagittarius Major Arcana. We'll see. Sometimes the mind goes that fast. <laughs> I think that's what that was. We have the King of Pentacles. So we had the King of Rods first, and now the King of Pentacles is here. So very solid energy. If I'm not mistaken, we may have had that energy as well. The King of Pentacles means being very much in the actionable energy regarding your abundance, having that wonderful uh, action and stability that you can take forward, either someone offering you that stability or you being in the position of power here. It also means earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus, and uh, Virgo, major arcana. And with that king of rods we had earlier, it was the energy of the fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, major arcana. Now, I know we talked about receptivity yesterday, and this is the card that came up for today. This is about being open to what is coming your way, regardless of what, you know, how it gets there. Sometimes we have to overlook who the messenger is. So being open and receptive and knowing that whatever's showing up for you is showing up with purpose, and you should accept it and allow yourself to have it without judgment. And that means don't, don't push it away. <laughs> don't push your receptivity away. Don't push it away just because you don't think you've worked hard enough for it or that you somehow don't qualify 
This is all, you just got to get over all that stuff. I am open in my heart and mind to receiving the blessings that I deserve. In other words, somebody walks over with a bouquet of flowers and they say, would you please, would you like these flowers? And you say, oh, they're so beautiful, but certainly they're not for me. Well, I would like for you to have these flowers. And you go, but I don't, I didn't do anything for them. Are you really going to do that? Are you going to take the flowers? Take the flowers. You deserve it. You are here. You are present in the moment. The flowers are yours. They're being offered. Take them. Be receptive. Remember, when you turn things away, you're telling the universe, you don't need it. You got it. You don't need its help. You got this. You're, you want to do it in the natural. Remember, everybody has free choice. And I don't know about you, but natural childbirth certainly was not my choice. So I'm just saying, make sure, make sure you, you stay open to what's coming in. You don't have to suffer to get something. That's a, that was a lie that was told to you. Suffering does not have to be involved at all. Get more information. So that's that download energy. It's also our Archangel Metatron holding Metatron's cube. If you can see that beautiful energy there, it is the Akashic record. So that's part of the lightning strike is getting the download of all things uh, and being in the energy of being open for it. And we have realization. That one keeps coming up and coming up. So something is coming in. This is really something being manifested because this keeps showing up. It means it's, it's showing up. Realization means it's coming into form. The frequency of realization supports the in, internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. We are coming to the full realization of our highest vibrational self. And that is what we are here to do. Bringing that high vibe in pulls us with it. And we have rainbow. Rainbow light is always welcome. That means all things are in alignment. You are a jewel. Even though you may not see it, even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon! Exclamation point. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed! Another exclamation point. And you are! You, the, the only way to not have your blessing is to refuse it. And how do we not refuse it? Relax. Allow and receive, right? So relax. There is plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light flowing from the heart of eternal God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart and you will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life, love. Be in that place of resonating that frequency. And it doesn't mean like having to be in, a, in love with someone. Just let your heart beam its highest frequency out. The energy and the, the power of love is astounding when you can actually activate it within you. And that's an activation. We have the Ace of Wands, which is a gift from divine. Always welcome. Beautiful energy, allowing this frequency of brilliance to ignite. Something taking root, taking form, and it's very exciting. So we'll take that as a yes. That can be a job. It can be some new activity or new project you're doing. It can even be a new relationship for some people. Oh, hello. Whatever it is, it's all the good. We have the Ten of Cups, which is the highest frequency of the rainbow light. It is the energy of all things in harmony, peace, happiness, joy, love, abundance, healing, prosperity, every good thing. It is known as the happily ever after, and I call it the best possible life now card. Yes, yes, and yes. Thank you, universe. We will take that. And the nine of pentacles, which isn't too shabby. It's the, it's the next best card to the ten. This is the self-fulfilling prophecy of all things, moving in the direction of continuing to flow and allowing you to be in a place where you feel like all things that you are creating are in alignment with your path. 
This is where you know that you know that you know that the universe conspires in your favor, that it brings you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it every single time. And I, I harp on this because this is one of those phrases that I use myself and it has pulled me through many of things and sometimes immediate answers if I needed it, like within 20 minutes. I'm not kidding. So I, I stomped around the house saying that. And I'm, I keep saying this. I know I've said it before. And I've told this story. But I keep telling it. Because it really happened. And I want all of you to have this in your tool chest. Yes, it is the Sagittarius Temperance card. I, well, I did remember correctly. This is the synchronicity of the universe. Or Archangel Uriel. Who is in that Sagittarius energy. And is the energy of taking that fire of life. And bringing it into form. And literally aligning it to where everything stays in balance. And everything's copacetic. And things are being brought into your alignment. To make everything go smoothly. So the universe indeed is conspiring in your favor. So many blessings to you all my darlings i hope you have a fabulous weekend i send you lots of love and light and thank you so much for being here with me as always i wouldn't be able to do this without you and i appreciate you all thank you so much namaste my friends